Hi, I hope you are doing well. Today I'm going to show you how to create this cute typhoon top. For this, you're going to need a sewing machine, some fabric, a top as a guide, scissors, a measuring tape, a power tool, pins, and some matching thread. If you do have a top that you can use as a guide, all you have to do is to recreate the exact same one. Make sure not to forget the seam allowance. I started marking the back panel. Personally, I wanted mine to be a little bit looser than the top I already own, so I added around 2 inches around the width. Up to preference, if you want to fold the edges, make sure to add seam allowance. Then I continued with the sleeves, a little tip, you can mark one side of the sleeve first making sure the seam line is looking on the outside, then repeat the other side so we'll end up with the whole sleeve. I finally moved on with the front panels, where I once again followed my guide, but this time, instead of marking the middle part of the front panels, I created a small curve line that goes from the neckline to the tie, which I also did on the bottom of the front panels, from the side to the tie. For the end of the tie, I decided to run it up. When you are done, you can finally cut all the pieces. For this step, all you have to do is to fold your sleeve making sure the good side is facing and sew down the side line and overlock it with a soldier or a zigzag stitch. Good side facing, connect and sew the shoulder lines together as well as the side lines. Don't forget to overlock. You can finally attach and sew your sleeves making sure the good size of her thing and to overlock to prevent any frame. For this step, it is up to you. You can decide to double fold the edges to prevent any frame, or like me, you can use a soldier to overlock the edges. If you choose this step, you can use a matching thread or a different one as you wish. Personally, I went for a chocolate color. Hope you enjoyed and it made sense. Don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up. Also, if you do regret it, you can tag me on Instagram. Thanks for watching. Have a lovely day or evening wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video.